Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now y'all, I'm a little disappointed because I did not lose not one pound with my Tiesta T. Like, my heart is a little broken. I just knew I had found something that was gonna help me lose a little bit of weight and I mean I'm not trying to go all crazy and you know I wasn't expecting to drop like 10 pounds but I'm a little disappointed so um, as you guys know I recorded um, my initial review of the Tiesta tea and it's a slimming tea it's supposed to boost your metabolism help curb your appetite it has a bunch of antioxidants oolong tea green tea it has some fruits in there um, and so I drank that at least once a day for, it's been a little over a week, probably like eight days. And when I started my Tiesta Tea kick, I was at 133.6 pounds. And right now I'm at 134 pounds. whoop de doo So as you can imagine, I'm a little disappointed. Um, I did not, I wasn't as active as I had planned on being. Um, I made sure I have an Apple Watch, so I was um, I boosted up my move goal. So I was burning at least 350 calories a day just from getting my steps in. Um, and I didn't eat horrible. I meal prep, I don't eat out a whole lot. I had pretty clean meals, light breakfast, light lunch, and a good dinner. Um, I will say, I did notice that when I drank the tea, it did help curb my appetite. I would drink the tea um, in the evening with my dinner, and like I, guys, like I told you guys before, I like to snack after dinner. Like, I get a bad sweet tooth where I want sweets, and I noticed that with drinking the tea with dinner, I didn't have that. And if I did, I only splurged just a little bit. Like, I didn't eat nearly as much as I normally do after dinner. Um, so it definitely curbed my appetite. I noticed in the beginning, I want to say after four days of drinking the tea, when I wasn't noticing much of a difference besides that, like I wasn't noticing a weight difference, I did start um, drinking the tea in the morning. So I'm a big tea or coffee drinker. I like to get something hot on my stomach before I eat anything. And so I started drinking a cup of tea in the morning and then another cup with dinner. And again, I didn't see any results as far as my weight, but I do notice that the snacking on the days when I did drink the tea was very minimal. So that is good. So I would recommend you purchase the Tiesta tea if you're interested in curbing your appetite. Don't get it and expect to just have the pounds shed off of your body because it obviously, it didn't work that way for me. Um, but it definitely did help to curb your appetite. So if you're looking for, like, if you want to stop snacking or if you're looking for something to curb your appetite, I do recommend it. The tea is really good. I didn't add any sugar. I didn't add any honey. I just put it in my um, tea diffuser and just with hot water, let that steep for a few minutes and I was good to go. Now, since I didn't meet my weight loss goal with this tea, I have decided to kick it up a notch and try something else. So, and I'm gonna pull it up over here so I can have the details in front of me. But I am going to try the three-day military diet. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the military diet, it is basically focused on a very low calorie diet and you do it. It's like certain foods that you eat and I'll um, give you a rundown. I'll actually put that at the bottom of the screen what each day's menu looks like for um, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, but basically it is again a three day low calorie diet. Um, and it's supposed to be done in cycles. So you do the three-day military diet and then the four days after that in the week You kind of eat what you want and then you start it back up again So it's a continuous cycle that you're supposed to do I'm gonna do the three days and I'm gonna do the four days of eating what I want to eat And I might do the three days. I might do that cycle for a little while But I definitely do want to kick start it. So I'm gonna be starting that tomorrow and I'm gonna do it Friday through Sunday and on Sunday I'm gonna record another video to let you guys know how it went but I want to let you guys know just so that you can hear because this is not a quick and easy sort of thing I, I definitely know that I'm gonna struggle with this a little bit 
So for day one for breakfast, I'm allowed either a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, a half of a grapefruit, and one piece of toast. That's breakfast. For lunch, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, one piece of toast, one can of tuna. For dinner, and I can't read it, it's so tiny, but it's basically a certain, I can't read what that says, it's so tiny, but a meat, and on the thing, um, it shows like how many grams of meat you're supposed to eat, but you're, you can have a meat, green beans, one apple, one banana, and one cup of vanilla ice cream. That's day one. Day two for breakfast. One egg, hard boiled egg, um, and actually you can eat the egg however you want to eat it, but you can't add anything to it, so they recommend a hard boiled egg. Um, one piece of toast and one banana. For lunch, one cup of cottage cheese. I'm going to have to substitute that because I don't like cottage cheese. Maybe I'll do cream cheese. But it says one cup of cream, or excuse me, one cup of cottage cheese, one hard boiled egg, and saltine crackers and I think it says eight saltine crackers I'm not sure <laughs> it's so, the numbers are so tiny that's for lunch for day two for dinner you have two hot dogs not with the buns just the hot dog the meat part um, one cup of broccoli a half a cup of carrots a banana and a cup of vanilla ice cream day three final day one one slice of cheddar cheese, one apple, and eight saltine crackers. For lunch, <laughs> for lunch, one piece of toast and one hard boiled egg. For dinner, a can of tuna, a banana, and a cup of vanilla ice cream. Y'all do not understand the level of hangriness that I am going to go through with these three days that's the menu i mean i like it because it's specific i know exactly what i need to eat but damn like on day three is the worst day a slice of cheddar cheese and apple crackers for breakfast one egg one piece of toast for lunch tuna banana and ice cream for dinner people are saying that they're 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 losing look i can't even speak that got me speechless <laughs> People are saying that they're losing up to 10 pounds doing this three-day military diet. So I am going to put it to the test and see what's going to go on with that. You're going to have to tune in for my military diet video. I am going to do a video um, after the fact, after day three, just letting you guys know the struggles that I went through and to know if it really worked. Um, and I'll, I'm going to record my weight and all that good stuff and I'll let you know the results of that. We are on a slim down mission. The Tiesta T didn't quite get me there, but we're going to see if this military diet does. So that's it for today. Um, thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and be sure to tune in for my military diet video. Thanks guys.